And with that, we're basically just going to finish up by looking at some of the SQL questions that might be asked uh, for the library data design. So the first question here, this is one that was kind of given to us uh, in the beginning. Uh, find how many copies of that book, uh, Principles of Database Design, uh, written by J.D. Ullman are currently in the library and are issued. So now you see the key points here are how many are currently in the library and being and are issued. Remember, this is one where we kind of got those initial requirements of I want to keep track of books that are available um, in the library and then ones that are checked out. Um, so that, that was kind of one of our key, this, this is one of those key questions that helped us uh, in that design, right? Um, so just so the, because of that, we know we're definitely going to be using that item checkouts table that uh, that's actually key to uh, tracking those transactions, right? And then we're also given the name of the book, uh, Principles, uh, Principle of Database and Knowledge Based Systems and uh, written by J.D. Ullman, right? So that's author. Um, so what I'm gonna, so, if I were to sort of start this query, uh, what I would do is first I would, usually whenever I write a query like this and I know that I have an end goal in mind, I'm basically just going to start with my from statement um, over here. And what I'm basically just going to do is bring in all the tables I know that I'm going to be needing to answer this question and join them on the primary keys and foreign keys. So you see I first brought in the uh, product item table. Um, again, uh, that's the that's the one that's going to keep track of the individual copies. I know I'm going to need that because I want to see how many copies are uh, are in and are not in the library. Um, I'm going to join it to the product and author table because product I'm going to need that to I'm going to need that second level of granularity again uh, to filter on the uh, title and then I'm going to filter on the I can filter on the author as well. So that's why I brought those two in and then notice I do a left join on the item checkouts table. Um, so, and then you see this join, what I'm basically doing is I'm joining on the product item ID, which is, uh, which is the foreign key in the item checkouts table to join to that. But then I also join on return date being null because basically what, what that's going to do is that's going to get me all, all of those books that are, uh, currently in the library and issued and, and are currently issued. Right, so the ones that are in the library, those are going to have a blank in return date because they're available. Um, the ones that are issued out um, and checked out by somebody, those are also going to have a blank return date because they haven't been returned yet. If I hadn't done this join, I would have basically gotten all the records and item checkouts for that for this for this book, uh, which I've filtered by there. So what would happen if I did that is I'm since I'm getting all the records, I'm also going to bring in all the records of when it was checked out and returned already before because I'm using that item checkouts table. But if I filter on the return date, return date being null this way, um, I'm able to look at only the ones that are currently issued and currently available in the library. And then what I basically do is I just want to count each of them. Uh, so right, uh, so what I do is in my select, I'm gonna uh, select the name just so I have something to group by. And then you see these two case statements here that I'm adding up to look at the total number that are checked out and the total number that are available. So the total number that are checked out is basically the ones where the checkout date is not null. And so if the checkout date is not null, that means there's a date there, that means somebody has it out. Um, so then I'm gonna count that as a book that's checked out. But if the checkout date is null, and remember since I did that join on the null return date, that's bringing in all the titles uh, that are available or issued. So if they're already there, if I know they're available or issued and the checkout date is blank, that means I know it's not checked out. So that so that's going to tell me which one how many are available in there so i'm able to kind of put that logic in a sum statement and then i can say uh when uh if it's not null then one otherwise zero then i'm gonna add that up as checked out and sort of the opposite for total available and then i sort of oh sorry uh then i sort of group by uh the name and then once this runs i'm able to group by the name and then see how many are checked out and available okay uh, moving on to the second question, 
Uh, this one is how many books, how many of the Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone copies are currently available to be borrowed? Um, okay, so this, uh, and then what about for all seven Harry Potter books? Um, so what I'm actually going to do in this, uh, in answering this is I'm just going to go to the second part right away. Uh, what about for all seven Harry Potter books? Just because uh, that way I can, I'm going to be answering the first question at the same time too. Um, again, I start with the from statement and bring in all the, all the tables that I'm going to be needing. And basically this is kind of going, this is using Harry Potter, which is an example we've been talking about all along. So I know I'm going to need all three granularities of the, um, uh, of, of those products tables that we made before, right? So I'm going to need product item. I'm going to need product. And then I'm also going to need product line, which is a top level one. Uh, it looks like I brought in author, but it doesn't seem like I used it. So we could just ignore that for now, but so I bring, I bring in all of those and then I'm basically checking something similar to what I checked in the previous question, how many are available to be borrowed, which is kind of also going to tell me how many are going to be available that are already checked out. Right? So I can just do that same join, uh, same join on item checkouts and return date being null. That way I know I'm going to, that, that way I know I can, uh, keep the records where, uh, the title hasn't been checked out yet. So I can see how many are available. And then you see, I'm basically filtering in the product line table by Harry Potter, because I only, I want to get all seven Harry Potter books. So I filter by that, but then in my select, I'm selecting P dot name, which is the second red level granularity of product. So this one is going to give me Harry Potter part one, part two, and so on. Uh, Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, so that's part one, right? Um, so this way I can see it for all of them. And then I basically use the same logic that I did in the previous question, where I can uh, check out, I can check that checkout date to determine whether it's checked out or available, and just kind of wrap that in a sum function to be able to get a total number of how many are available and checked out. 